welcome again to the part two in this first part we have seen that how we can import the cityscape cityscape image and the corresponding segment and we can recti how we can rectify the labels in the second part we can see we will see that how we can do the training part for that first we have to import the data loader this is some of the other packages such i am using pirate portal lightning for the segmentation i'm using cube well work uh, segmentation model pytorch this is an awesome package and it comes with a lot of uh, models there's a lot of such as resnet resnet we can use as many as we want this is an awesome package we are using this for the segmentation let's import that i am just continuing the previous work and here is the pytorch lightning structure i'm defining my class and here i am passing the segmentation unit model with the encoder name resonate 34 i am passing the image net return rates for the encoder and number of channels are 3 which is rgb and the classes are 20 which we had defined earlier in the above part 1 we can, you can see that the learning rate is 1 is to power minus 3 batch size is 32 for the num workers, I am using around six number of workers. There is a, a medium blog of me which, which tells you that what is the benefit of choosing number of worker and how we can select the uh, optimal number of workers. Maybe I will link it in description. For the criterion, I am using the dice loss and for the metric, I am using the IOU a metric. Uh, the dice loss is available in uh, segmentation uh, package even the metric is also available there but i'm using torch metric for the uh, we have two data sets here class training data set and the validation data set the training data set can be defined by passing train to split and validation data set can be defined by passing value to the split next we have forward function which is actually the forward of the model uh, as we have defined the number of classes here we do not have to define it here i will explain uh, later what is the process this is actually not a inbuilt function i have just used it for my ease for the optimizer i am using adam w optimizer here is the data loader train data loader uh, which uh, use PyTorch data loader and I have passed my training data set here and batch size also and, and along with batch size and the are required or non required uh, arguments or parameters then I have uh, then there is a training step actually the, these are actually the required steps by the PyTorch lighting that, that your class must have a forward function, a configure optimizer function, a train data loader, and a valid well data loader. The training step is, and the validation step is also built in in the PyTorch Lightning class. But the process uh, function, this is my uh, defined function. This is not in PyTorch Lightning class. So what I was telling you that from the uh, batch of the train class for from the train loader uh, we can get image and segment and we can pass the image and segment to the process function which will pass the image to the model this help uh, here uh, denotes to the model that is unit model and then we pass this segment that is the ground segment to the encoder segmap function which correctly uh, rectify the labels of that segment and then we pass the rectified segment and the predicted segment to the criterion which is actually the loss function and then we define the metric here iou and return the loss and iou uh, which will take here and uh, log it to the logger and uh, the train loss and the train iou same is with the data loader or validation step and uh, here i have defined the model i call the model class and define the checkpoints to save the checkpoint at each step the best checkpoint and the last checkpoint 
then I have used the trainer and defined the maximum epoch so 200 and I have used a total GPU that I have used which is actually 1 but if you define minus 1 it will take it as 1 we have used precision x216 and we can take more uh, batches and more we can increase the number of batches if we use, use the half precision instead of 32 bit precision then I have used the trainer.fit model to train the model but here I have commented that because it will take time to train that so I will what I will do is that just use the pre-trained uh, model and I will load that model it, it's loaded all keys match successfully that means that there is no error in loading the pre-trained model then I will use the uh, test uh, test data set if we see the test data set I figured out that we do not have any we do not have any uh, ground truth or annotation in the test set let me go to test set and i can see that all are actually black there is no color even it's a color but it's not showing any color so it means that there is no ground truth for the test set i might be wrong in that case so uh, let me now in comment okay so that this is why i have decided to use the validation data set uh, to compare the ground truth and the predicted predicted segment let me evaluate the model here and show you the output here is the output you can see that it can segment the cars here and here also it can segment also some wrong things such as this is the light blue but this is the uh, red thing if we change take another sample we can see that it's a uh, light and it's dark there are some issues but the person that is read it's correctly classified similarly the trees are correctly classified this guy is correctly classified so there are some error which can be improved by using a better architecture and increasing the number of people and improving this architecture this is the end